Okay, <clears throat> in this video we look at uh, a couple of special cases. Uh, you may recall when we were looking at solving systems uh, by graphing that there were a couple of special cases uh, where the solution was not just a single point. So we want to consider a couple of systems that are going to lead to the either no solution or it being actually the same line and see how we can recognize that when we're using our substitution method. So consider the example y equals 2x plus 3 and 4x minus 2y equals 8. So we want to solve this by substitution. So we take advantage of the fact that one of the equations is already solved for a variable. So we go ahead and make use of that. Remember we then take that result, we're going to substitute that into the other equation, the one we haven't touched yet, for that variable. So the y in the 4x minus 2y equals 8 gets replaced with 2x plus 3. That produces an equation for us that has only a single variable. You may want to pause the video and take a look at that uh, problem and give it a shot. So simplifying, we can distribute the 2 through. We get 4x minus 4x minus 6, don't forget to distribute the negative, equals 8. 4x's cancel out and we get this statement negative 6 equals 8. Well we know negative 6 is never equal to 8. So what's this really saying? Well, if we go and graph our two equations, we actually see that our two equations are parallel lines. In other words, they're never going to cross. So when we're solving a system and the variables disappear like this, the variables disappear like this, that's our indication that there is no solution. These two things are parallel lines. They're never going to cross. Another name for no solution is to say that the system is inconsistent. So we say no solution or inconsistent. They both mean the same thing. And let's consider a second example. Consider the system negative x plus 2y equals 8 and 4y equals 2x plus 16. So we want to solve this system. So again, we begin by solving uh, for one of our variables. Now I'm going to take that top equation and I'm going to solve for x. And here's how I'm going to do it. Because that x has just the negative sign in front, I'm actually going to move that over to the right-hand side by adding it. And while I'm at it, I'm going to bring the 8 over to the other side. So I get 2y minus 8 equals x. And then once I've solved one of the equations for one of the variables, I go to the other equation, so the 4y, replace the x with 2y minus 8. And so I have 4y equals 2 times 2y minus 8 plus 16. And then I proceed to solve that equation. So I can distribute the 2 through, get 2 times 2y would be 4y, <coughs> 2 times 8 would be minus 16. Uh, combine like terms, the uh, 16's cancel out. I have 4y equals 4y. So I decide to get the variable on one side by subtracting 4y from both sides. And in this case, I get 0 equals 0, which is actually a true statement. Well, when you find out it's a true statement, that's also a special case. Variables are gone and we have a true statement. That's our indication that this is a dependent system. In other words, if you were to graph those two equations, you'd find out they are in fact the same line. They actually have the same slope and the same y-intercept. If you were to solve both of those equations for y, you would actually get the same equation for both of them. Okay, so those are two special cases and how to recognize them when we're solving a system of equations by substitution. 